From sunny Southern California, it's the final game of the XFL weekend as the LA Wildcats try to win one in front of their home folks and get one in the W column. They'll have to do it against one of the toughest teams in the league, the undefeated DC Defenders. I don't give a damn about no record, who that is. Hey, everybody, LB's on three. One, two, three. LB. I'm talking about from the first whistle to the last whistle. Let's go. And that's how it's going to be. Yeah. We're going to start fast, and we're going to finish fast. Yeah. That's what we do. Everybody up. Two cities, two fan bases that share a similar loyalty and hunger. Washington, D.C., a bustling group of transients that find themselves with little in common. You often find yourself on one side or another, but a town with so many passionate people have found one thing in common, their sports. Los Angeles. With all of its glamour and stardom, this is the misconception of L.A. Amongst the diverse culture, there are valleys of generational history with a deep lineage of devoted fans. With the excitement of a new league comes new reason to come together and reignite that love for their city and the teams that represent it. Today, it's the Defenders and the Wildcats. And the Wildcats are taking the field. Both teams are ready for football, and so are we. It is the wrap-up to Week 3, the D.C. Defenders and the Los Angeles Wildcats. Come on inside the broadcast booth and stay a while, folks. I'm Kurt Menefee alongside the newest member of the Seattle Seahawks, Greg Olson. This is going to be fun working with you today, brother. Can't wait. You know what? you got two teams right now, D.C. at 2-0, and L.A. at 0-2. That early in the season are on different paths. Yeah, and I think everyone within this L.A. organization, while they're disappointed at the 0-2 start, I think they feel the answers are on this team. They're in this locker room. Coach Winston Moss told us in our meetings, hey, we've addressed a lot of things. We've identified what our problems are, and we feel like we're at any moment here, we're going to kick off things the right way. And uh, if they're going to do it, this week three matchup against the D.C. defenders is, of course, a tough opponent to try to get back on track. They Not only are they probably the most balanced team in the league, they could arguably be the, the best team in the entire XFL, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing them play today. Well, you got a team that's playing really well, led by a quarterback. A lot of people know in Cardell Jones. Yeah, I think Cardell Jones, when you, when, you start, when you start looking around the league at MVP candidates, of course, the Houston Roughnecks quarterback, P.J. Walker, he's kind of taken the league by storm. But not far behind him is Cardell Jones. Pep Hamilton couldn't say enough great things about him yesterday in our meeting. He's big, he's strong, he's more athletic than people give him credit for, and he's leading the league in passing. He's leading one of the most prolific offenses in the XFL, and uh, I think he's a lot of fun to watch, and I think today will be no different. Another guy who will be fun for us to watch, well, this is kind of a homecoming game for him. Probably not the way the LA Wildcats won, because Anthony Johnson was a member of the Wildcats at the start of the season. In fact, if you go back to week one, Johnson not only was on the team, he was the defensive captain, but he was traded after the opening game, sent to D.C., showed up 15 hours after he got there, played a football game, had a sack and a half, and now in his second game gets to come, gets to come back and face the team that traded him away. And Johnson is standing by right now before kickoff with our Jenny Tab. Jenny. All right, Kurt, thank you, Anthony. It has been a whirlwind week for you. And just for you, going into this game, facing your former team, take me through the mindset and really how the week has been for you getting acquainted with your new team. Uh, honestly, it's been a big help. Uh, just uh, getting the camaraderie with my new teammates, uh, letting everybody know that I'm falling in place and uh, not trying to be egotistical, just be a team player. And that's what I've always been and will always be. So this week has been a big help for me. Pep Hamilton made clear to us that with a player like yourself, you got one job, and that is to affect the QB. How That's do you it? do it today? Uh, at the end of the day, however, I need to get the scratch crawl, jump over somebody. I'm going to get to that quarterback, so they better watch out. We're going to be watching you all day, and I'm loving this. Oh, I got to let somebody know. I told you I was bringing out that crystal today. I'm not too flashy, but a little dashy. You hear me? I got you all today. I love it. Thank you. Thank Good you, luck. Jenny. Appreciate it. Well, certainly a guy with personality, but also a heck of a football player. This guy played in the NFL for quite a while and actually was about 100 pounds heavier when he played for the Miami Dolphins. Now, slim down playing linebacker. He is ready to go, as are we. <coughs> Fox Bet says the defenders are eight and a half point favorites right now, and the over-unders at 44 and a half points. Now, the LA Wildcats will get things started off here with the kickoff that a lot of people seem to like here in the league, Greg. Yeah, we got our first kickoff return for a touchdown. Anybody that checked out the New York and St. Louis game. 